Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. Now, there's no doubt that Vladimir Putin is calling the shots in eastern Ukraine. There is, there are a lot of people who support him, who want to separate, but, um, but uh, those separatists have been armed, trained, and backed by Putin's government. Russia has always had a, a strong influence in that country, and it always will. And uh, they would have continued to be a major influence on Ukraine uh, if Putin had not been so ham-handed with it. His seizure of Crimea and forcible annexation in that area uh, has really provoked tensions, violence, and kind of brought back the Cold War era. So now we have a situation where either the Russian military or Ukrainian separatists brought down a plane. Now, uh, the Malaysia uh, air flight plane that got brought down, you can fault the pilots for flying over that area, although actually there were a whole lot of commercial planes flying over that area at the time. Uh, somehow or other, they were the ones that got picked out and mistaken for a uh, Ukrainian military plane. Now I'm sure they thought it was, I'm sure it was an accident, but that doesn't matter. The actions of the Ukrainian separatists and the Russian government are illegitimate, they're violations of international law, and they sure look a lot like terrorism. So the spotlight is now on not just the separatists, separatists but Russia as well. And the questions are, can Russia now be defined as a state sponsor of terrorism? Is Vladimir Putin a terrorist leader? And the answer to both of those questions would appear to be yes. Thanks for listening.